the unique breeding behavior of Charles Darwin's frog. Minivaria Charles Darwini is a species of frog native to the Andaman Islands of India. It is commonly called the Charles Darwin's frog. A team of scientists from the University of Delhi and Zoological Survey of India, in collaboration with researchers from Harvard University and the University of Minnesota, have discovered that this species of frog breeds differently from all other frogs worldwide. A dedicated field study was carried out over three years in the remote islands of the Andaman Archipelago, which lies in the Bay of Bengal. Researchers spent over 55 nights during the monsoon season to study the secretive reproductive behavior of these tiny frogs. Charles Darwin's frog is usually a ground-dwelling frog found among leaf litter on the forest floor. After the first few monsoon rains in June, rainwater starts to accumulate in tree cavities, such as hollows in the trunk or buttress roots. This is the ideal time for Charles Darwin's frog to breed. Breeding involves a unique combination of behaviors, one that generally takes place in a sequence. Complex male advertisement calls. After sunset, males start calling from the ground to attract females for mating. Calling intensifies by late night when males move closer to tree cavities from ground level up to five feet high. Their advertisement calls are complex in comparison to those of closely related species. In fact, this frog has three different types of mating calls, which differ in structure, properties, and social context. Male-male vocal interactions. When two or more calling males come in close contact, aggressive vocal interactions begin. The acoustic properties of these aggressive calls are different from advertisement calls. Male-male physical fights. If aggressive vocalizations fail to ward off competing males, physical combat begins. These fights include kicking and boxing, using hands and legs, and biting of body parts, or even the entire head. Unpaired males fight with paired males. Males compete aggressively to mate with females. If a male successfully mounts a female, Nearby unpaired males may physically fight with the implectant pair. While continuously calling, they climb on top of the pair to disturb them. They may even try to insert their head between the bodies of the pair from the back side to separate them. The defending male often kicks the intruding males with his hind legs. Simultaneously, to avoid attacks, the female climbs the wall of the tree hole with the male on her back. Upside down spawning. Mating extends way past midnight, and egg laying takes place mostly in the early morning. When the right opportunity strikes, in between fierce fighting, the mating pair immediately turns upside down and, moving backwards, climbs farther up the wall of the tree hole. At this point, with their bodies completely out of the water and their heads pointing down, the female releases the first batch of eggs and attaches them to the wall. This is remarkable. No other species of frog is known to lay terrestrial eggs inside tree cavities in an upside-down position. This spawning behavior is unique to Charles Darwin's frog. A given female will often lay eggs in multiple boats during a single mating event. And the same tree hole will be used by several mating pairs during a breeding season. This discovery is important in that it opens a window into the remarkable diversity of amphibians and their reproductive biology that is still unknown to science. 
This is especially the case for species found in poorly explored regions in the biodiversity hotspots of tropical Asia. Breeding in trash. Sadly, Charles Darwin's frog also breeds in trash left behind by humans on the forest floor. The team frequently observed frogs breeding in unnatural sites in disturbed forests. From rainwater-filled sapling bags to discarded plastic or glass bottles and metal containers. The frog's use of trash for breeding is both surprising and worrying. We now need to know its causes and long-term consequences and devise ways to protect the natural breeding habitats that are critical for the survival of the species. The lack of adequate breeding sites due to habitat loss and competition for limited resources may be driving the Charles Darwin's frog to breed in unnatural sites. Without careful conservation, this endemic and threatened species may not be able to survive in the face of increasing human disturbance and rapidly changing landscapes on these small islands. These findings are published in the Museum of Comparative Zoology's journal, Breviora. <laughs>